Welcome everyone, Farmer Cop here. This is going to be a guide to the productions BGAs on Farming Simulator 22. So we're going to go ahead and just jump right into it. So first off, what we have to do is we have to purchase a BGA. A couple ways to go about this. The first thing is if you are playing on a map like I'm playing on Elm Creek here, where there is actually a BGA available, um, you can come up to this BGA here and you can go up to the wrench icon and you can go ahead and purchase it. So we can hit yes. Now this one I haven't tried to sell. You should be able to sell it. If I hit shift P, which by the way brings you into the build menu, there should be a way to, oh, there we go. Do you want to sell the, bi the biogas plant? I'm not going to do it because once you sell it, it will no longer be available for you on the map unless you do something different with the XML or the save or anything like that. But yeah, so this will no longer be available once you sell it that way after you purchased it. But uh, we now, we own it, so we should be good to go. Now, Past that, if we jump back over to where I was at down here, I got a BGA that I placed down here so we can place our own. So if I hit Shift P, it'll take me into the build mode here. If I go under production, I have three BGAs available. I have a biogas plant at 99 kilowatt. I have the 250 kilowatt and the 500 kilowatt. Now they all are pretty much the same except for they will process through products faster uh, if they are bigger. So that's just something to note as far as that goes. Now the one on the map, is a 1 million kilowatt um, production facility. So it goes a little bit faster than these guys. Now, I did place the small one here and I have the other ones up over here just so we can look in the menu. We're not gonna use them at all, but just so we can look at the menu, at them um, and see what their actual production ratios are because we're gonna talk about that as well. Uh, now, these ones can be sold pretty easily. So if I wanted to, I can either hit demolish, hit there, and then I can sell it, or I can just click on it and then, um, well, let's get out of demolish mode here. If I go back and shift P, now if I click on it, then I can hit sell. And then it'll give me the option to sell, which I'm going to say no, because I don't want to sell it right now. So uh, there you go. Easy to place and sell them and do everything you need to do as far as that goes. You do have to own the land you place them on. So just be aware of that. Now, in general, for productions, the main thing is, well, you got to provide them with the correct resources. So um, you got to provide them with the correct resources. So what do these guys take? So biogas plants, they will intake silage, cut sugar beets, slurry, and manure. And their outputs will be digestate, methane, and power. Now, as far as the methane goes, I don't have a lot of information on that. As far as the power goes, that is going to go into uh, producing money for you. So you're going to get paid for that every hour instead of at midnight, like you did in Farming Simulator 19. So you're going to get paid every hour for the power produced. At least that's what I've noticed with testing. Um, the methane, I'm not sure if you get more money for that. That one's kind of a hard one to test since there's two outputs there, but it's pretty clear the power um, is getting paid out to you. Um, and then the digestate will go into um, storage so you can use it for either fertilizing or you can sell it. You also can sell it using the production plant. And we'll talk about all that stuff uh, here just in a second. So um, that's how that works. Now, one thing I want to address here before we get too far into it, because um, I know some of you guys are probably going to have this question. If we go into the story here, and we go under, it's under tools, I believe. We have the electric charging station and the methane station here. These two guys, these do not tie in with the BGA system. They do not tie in with the BGA system. Just be aware of that. They do not. You don't have the ability to charge for free or to get free biomethane using the BGA system. They're separate. You get paid for what you produce at the BGA. These guys will still charge you to refill your uh, methane tractors and your electric tractors. Um, well, actually, I don't think this one will charge you to re Feel it. Sorry, the methane one will charge you. This one will just, it's just separate. So it doesn't, they're not tied together. I just want you to know they're a separate system completely. So uh, just be aware of that. Now, past that, the next thing I want to talk about is uh, getting into the productions menu for these. So there's a couple ways to go about that. First off, I can walk up here to this wrench icon on any of these, hit R, and it'll take me to that specific production plant in here because I have a lot of them in here. Now, given they're all different capacities. And another thing too, I will want to note here is if you didn't want them to be that way, I can click on these and hit rename. So if I wanted this to be um, our testing biogas plant, I can put test in the name, hit change, and then we're good to go. So then once I come into here, it has test up here inside the name at the top. So you can change the name if you wanted to make it a little bit easier for you to figure out what's going on. Uh, past that, um, the other ways to get into the production menu is to just, well, hit escape, which is what I just did. And then you can go find which one you want to uh, look under in here that way. So now that we've gotten into this production menu, let's talk about everything in here. So we're going to talk about the 99 kilowatt uh, one, uh, since that's the one we're mostly going to be focusing on. So on this left hand side, we have basically uh, four different production uh, recipes over here. So if I click on silage and we go to the center, it's going to give us a status, which is inactive. To change that status down here at the bottom, I can hit activate, which it's going to tell me in a second that it needs materials. We give it a second to run. Materials missing. There we go. We can hit deactivate down at the bottom. So those are the three different statuses, inactive, running, and materials needed for um, 
uh, the status bar up here. Now cycles per hour, that is how many times it's going to do the recipe down here every hour. Cost per hour, this is how much it's going to charge you every hour to operate. I do believe it only charges you if you, it is running. I've kind of tested that a little bit. Uh, it's inclusive, I've done a ton of testing on it, but I believe it only tests or only charges you if you're actually running the facility, but don't quote me on that. So past that, going down here to this recipe, what does this recipe mean? Well, it means that in general, every hour, since we're getting one cycle per hour, so one cycle here, so every cycle, it's going to process 840 liters of silage, which is, that's the icon for silage, and it's gonna produce 756 units of power, methane, and 252 liters of digestate. So after an hour, it's gonna pay us for 756 uh, units of electricity. I don't know if it pays us for the methane or if that's just there. Um, I would say it probably does. I just don't have a way to calculate uh, that at this time. Um, and then the digestate is gonna go down here um, to your digestate output. So um, that's how that's all gonna work. And again, slurry, 200 liters to 180 and 60 liters. Manure, 200 to 180 and 60. Cut sugar beet, 100 to 90 and 30. So this is gonna be the slowest thing to process through. This will be the, the fastest it'll process through. Um, so just be aware of that. Now, if we go over here to the uh, right side, building storage, this is gonna tell you how many units of silage, slurry, manure, and sugar beet cut you have in storage inside your facility. This is gonna show you how many liters of silage you have stored in here. Now down here it says the output mode is storing. We're gonna talk about the different output modes once we get to that point. But for now, this is kind of just an overview of the productions menu. Now let's look at the other uh, BGA. So this is the smallest one. Now let's go to the next one up. Next one up is 2120 for 1909 and 636. The next, and then it has for slurry, 505, 455, and 152. Manure, 505, 455, and 152. And you can just pause the video if you wanted to look at any of these specific recipes. Uh, sugar beet cut, 253 to 227 and 76. Then if we go down here to the 500, 4243 to 3819, then five methane here, 1273. So that's where it changes, and I believe you'd have to get paid out somehow for it. Um, I, that's what I'm thinking. I just haven't tested all that. I know you get paid out for the power at least, and it might just be my calculations for the power, including the methane, so what you get paid out in total. Then we have slurry, 1010 to 909 and 303, plus five methane. Then manure, 1010 to 909, 303, and five methane. Then we have sugar beet cut, 505 to 456, five and 152. Then if we go to the 1 million megawatt one, which is um, the one or one megawatt, I guess, 500 kilowatts on one megawatt. But anyhow, if we go down to the biogas plant here, this is the one built into the map. I haven't tested the ones built into other maps, but just know that they might be different. So this will take an 8484 for 76, 36, five and 25, 45. 2020 for 18, 18, five and 606. For manure, it's 2020, 18, 18, five and 606. And for sugar beet cut, it is 10, 10, 909, 5, and 303. So those are the various um, different products that it's gonna intake and what it's gonna output. So this is how the production menus work. Um, now, putting materials in here. We have an endpoint here and an endpoint here. This one is only for the slurry, only for the liquids, if you see this one here on the ground. This one here is for your silage, your manure, and your sugar beet cut. Now the problem that I think is uh, what I don't like about this, and I'll just kind of show you here. If we wanted to put some silage, which I have some silage in this trailer here, up in the upper left-hand corner, it says tip side is the back, so it should tip out the back. If I pull up to this, it will not let me tip into it from a trailer, which is really frustrating. It will not let me do it. I don't like that it does that for these ones. It will not let me tip into it here, so it's not gonna let me tip into it. However, this one, if you go into the store, is found under auger wagons. This is actually, this guy right here, which allows you to do silage. So it's an auger wagon essentially for silage. Essentially, it's kind of a similar process. It's not the same, but it's similar. So I have the pipe out. Now, if I hit U to tip the, up there in the upper left-hand corner to tip side pipe, I can move the pipe over here and I should be able to, there we go, get silage to go in there. So I can use this to put silage in there if I wanted to. I'm just gonna put a little bit in, that'll be plenty. So just note, you can use this if you wanted to. Otherwise, you're going to have to use well, you can use, if we go down here, a telehandler, front loader bucket, uh, some sort of bucket of some kind. You also can uh, put it in using a belt system, which were the belts in here. Uh, belt system, you can use belts to put it in, pick up belt, hook up to belts that way. Um, I'll do a separate video on how to use belts at some point, but um, you can use a belt system if you know how to use that. But the simplest, cheapest way to get it in there otherwise will just be to um, use a bucket with a front loader, telehandler, or wheel loader, or skid steer for that matter. Now, if I pull up to it with this trailer full of slurry, 
it'll just let me unload directly in there. So not an issue here. It lets you directly unload just from the ground. Makes sense. It's a liquid. You can't scoop it or anything like that. It's a little odd. Now, if we do hop up, however, I will say to uh, the BJ built into the map, this guy up here, if you pull up here, so up top where we have this area up here, it will allow you to dump directly from a trailer. It will allow you to do it up here. So if you wanted to do that, that was a big deal to you. You didn't want to deal with belts or any of that other stuff. Um, and you weren't just going to put slurry through it. This might be worth spending the extra money on, though it is more expensive because um, it's 1.5 million for this. But actually, how much is the most expensive one in here? Um, so a little bit more expensive than the most expensive one in here. Um, so then you can dump directly in at either of this point or the point over here. So just be aware of that. Now, if we hop back down here to this guy, we're actually going to, is this guy completely unloaded? We'll get this guy out of here. It's got a little bit left in it. We'll just completely unload him because we're going to use this guy to pick up our digestate out of the uh, facility here in just a little bit. So we need to get all the slurry out of here. Okay, there we go. So we have put in a couple of different inputs into this facility here. So if we go into the menu and we go down to the production menu, this conveyor belt down here. We go scroll up to our test facility here. We have silage in and slurry in. I believe 30,000 liters is the capacity for the small one here. Um, I don't know all the capacities for all of these guys, but you should be able to figure it out pretty quick because it'll get full. Um, silage and slurry in there are both in there. So we're gonna go ahead and turn um, both of these guys on just to get them rolling here. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna start processing through um, these cycles here. And over here, let's talk about the storing mode here that we have here. So what storing means, it's gonna store our digestate here until it gets full and then it's just not gonna be able to do any more. So it's gonna start storing it into here and you'll see there's already a liter there because it's processing through some of the products. Now down here at the bottom, you can change the output mode. If I change it to selling, what it's gonna do after it gets so much in here, it's going to look at the menu. So it's gonna go into here, it's gonna find digestate on here. It's gonna find it right here. Um, it's gonna it's gonna sell it from this price here. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna take this price here and it's gonna sell it at 60% of the value. So essentially it's gonna sell it for $1.40 uh, per thousand liters of uh, digestate. So you're not gonna get a lot of money for it. So it's probably worth using uh, to do something else. But if you really don't wanna use it um, and you're just happy with the power money that you're getting or the money you're getting from power from the BGA, then you don't have to worry about that. But if we go back into the reductions menu, it's slowly producing and it's gonna slowly start selling here soon. So you're gonna get a little bit money from that. But if we change that over to distributing, Distributing is normally what it would use or what mode it would use for this to move and deliver uh, to your next production chain in the process. But since there's nowhere for digested to be processed further, it's not gonna do anything except store it in here as well. So um, yeah, we're just gonna leave it on storing and then we're gonna fast forward a little bit of time. Now, if you look in the upper left, upper right hand corner, we'll actually get rid of that here. So what is that, 773 at 7804? Okay there, I went ahead and removed all our money because uh, it'd be just a chaos if I did it on camera. So there we go, removed all our money, we're down to zero dollars. So if I actually just speed up time here quite a bit, if you look, once we get close to the hour here, put it down to 500 times, getting close to the hour. Okay, so we're getting close. We're at 1356. As soon as that passes over, there we go, 389. We got money from it. I don't have any other placeables on there. You see we're getting paid every time the hour goes through. We're getting paid for the electricity that it's generating. So if we go into the menu here, we still have some digestate in here, but we are getting paid as it's processing through. And it's processing through the silage, obviously, uh, fairly quickly because, well, process a lot faster processes this every hour so it's going pretty quick which is pretty awesome so there you go that's kind of how that all works now let's get the uh this the digestate out of here so what we're going to do is we're going to pull up to this out point here which they'll be able to find one in every production facility i'm going to hit r and it's going to start filling me up with digestate you can see down in the bottom corner it's filled me up with digestate um open up the help menu up there in the upper left hand corner it says r to start filling so there you go now again you can sell the digestate or you can apply it to your fields using if we go into here go under slurry tanks you can use a slurry and digestate spreader like this one and you can get fertilizer so basically it works as a kind of a free or cheap alternative uh, fertilizer for you if you wanted to do that uh so again that's how you make money off of the uh the bgas here is you're going to make money off your electricity methane generated and you're also going to make money or able to use your digestate um for fertilizing so you can either make money by selling it which you're not going to get a lot or you can use it to uh, fertilize your fields which will probably be a lot more beneficial to you so there you go hopefully this video helped you guys out if i missed anything feel free to drop a comment down below but if you guys enjoyed drop a like down below if you haven't already hit that subscribe button up on the screen to join the farmer cop channel and turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any future videos i may post this has been Farmer Cop. Thank you guys for coming and watching.